Before we get started with today's video, y'all, if you guys are looking to buy a godlike NBA 2K19 account, make sure you guys hit up legit accounts, 100% legit. The link will be in the description. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka HDF, back in the building with yet another banger. And in today's video, we got some 2K20 topic news man now as you guys know there's uh, the archetypes are going to change a lot in nba 2k20 so if you guys want more videos like this and me to drop news as soon as i get it because i just got this these screenshots and um we just saw this video just a couple days ago make sure you guys subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video and make sure you turn post notifications on so you see every time i upload another banger like this one and every time i live stream which is every single day now ld2k explained that there will be a my player builder in nda 2k20 now he, i'm gonna show a video of him explaining exactly what the my player builder is Roll the clip. I like my job, so I'm not going to say too That's much. Fair. But I will say that one thing that we're all very excited about, of course, is the announced My Player Builder coming in the demo of NBA 2K20, whether you play the demo first or you play when the retail version drops. Uh, the My Player Builder, we really want to give the fans their ability to create what they want, okay. how they want. And uh, I'll just kind of leave it at that. It's one of so you just heard it here first from LD2K himself. He told you guys that the My Player Builder is going to be whatever you want, however you want your My Player to be. So you're basically just creating your My Player from scratch. So this is going to be very similar to NBA 2K15 and NBA 2K16. And at the same time, it's going to be different than any other 2K we've ever seen. So in NBA 2K16, as you can see on your screen right here, you would get these live practices, right? And in these live practices, you could unlock level ups. And what level ups did was they just upgraded your player, you know, up one, whatever. It was like a, it was kind of like a cap breaker in 2K19. So let's take a look at this player right here. Look at each level up. So like each bar, look at this jump shooter bar. It goes up like 20 bars, right? So each bar is like a level up, correct? And there's six rows of stuff. So there's defending, playmaking, jump shooting, inside scoring, all that other stuff. So as you can see in this live practice, he unlock a 95 of now he has 95 of 100 of his level ups right and 100 level ups equal to like five out of the six bars maxed out correct so look at his it gave him archetype look at his two-way superstar and he's still upgrading his player and it could change as he goes on which is what it's going to be in 2k20 and what it was in nba 2k16 and nba 2k15 so as you can see like in these games in 15 and 16 you could upgrade the player it would change your archetype as you win right so look at this player he's a raw prospect prospect he is nothing upgraded look at there was jump shooting inside scoring athletic playmaking rebounding and defender so there were six things at 20 levels in each bar but you could only ever get like a hundred right so that would only equal to like five of the six bars but look at this player now look at his archetype now he's a two-way superstar after upgrading all that stuff this is what it's gonna be like in nba 2k20 right so let's say this is this is basically how the my player builder is gonna be so you're gonna walk into the my player builder right and it's gonna present you with those six bars or it's probably gonna be a lot more specific they're probably gonna be a lot more specific with it than it was back then so they can give you a more specific archetype than just two-way star or all-around player right so um basically they're gonna give you a bunch of upgrades like you're already like your players already maxed like right here so look at this player it's, it's basically maxed it's five out of six levels right here so they're just gonna have you act like you already have all those unlocked and you're just gonna choose what levels you want at each bar right and as you switch through each level it's going to differ differentiate between badges attributes takeovers and your archetype so once you're done and figuring out exactly what you want and you you click continue or something and then it's going to bring you to the actual my player creation and it's going to give you a 60 overall and now you have to work to get this player to the 99 you started with in the my player builder so it's kind of like choosing your caps right look at this 2k19 screenshot of um an overall right look at how like the white part where that's like the max out it's basically like you're choosing where the max out point is in each category and then once you get the 99 all those will be maxed and as you upgrade your player through 2k20 it will change your archetype but you already know what your archetype is going to be at the end because you use the my player builder right and this will like i said 
this will affect your my player builder you'll know what badges you're going to get what takeovers you're going to have and what jump shots maybe because of your stretch um you might not get as many jump shots what jump shots you're going to get and what your archetype really is going to be and all those things well the, the the archetype could actually change throughout when you're upgrading your player obviously but what we're going to go over today is what archetypes we could be seeing in nba 2k20 so let's go ahead and see at each position what they could throw at, a, at us in 2k20 so here is the first screenshot of the point guards right now obviously this isn't straight from 2k20 i'm not gonna pull a badge plug and say this is real when it's not okay this is clearly fake it's something somebody made right um but this is definitely some archetypes we could be seeing in nba 2k20 so we're gonna go through the point guard shooting guard small forward and power forward and center positions and kind of show you guys what kind of archetypes and what names they could give us because they're not going to be like 2k19 and 18 i'll tell you that much so let's just look at some of them so for example let's see athletic playmaker that could be like a slashing playmaker right um let's see shoot first point guard so maybe he has a little playmaking but not too much but more of of his jump shooting and his you know driving upgraded right we have a playmaker so obviously he just maxed out his playmaking and passing uh perimeter defender so more of like a lockdown point guard a pass first point guard we have um elite athlete so maybe he upgraded like his speed uh his slashing and uh, his driving and stuff like that and like his vertical and maybe even his rebounding right so here's just a list of what we could get right so like i said if you upgrade this it's gonna give you that and maybe if you're at let's say you're at a 70 overall and you only have your up your slashing upgraded you're gonna be like an elite athlete right but then if you're an 80 once you get to an 85 and all of a sudden your shooting's max and your your slashing didn't change maybe you're like a you know a sharp shooting kind of slasher but they're going to give you some different name right so that's basically how it's going to be so let's move on to the shooting guard build so it's basically the same thing as you can see right here the only notable ones that i see that are different is like aggressive score so maybe he didn't upgrade any defense any rebounding or anything like that he just upgraded only scoring stats so like he upgraded his slashing his shooting you know his layups all that other stuff right um lockdown defender he's only upgraded like maybe a little bit of rebounding and defense right um you know what i'm saying so there's just a lot of different ones like sharpshooter he just maxed out his shooting and that's it um skilled sharpshooter maybe he's got a little dribbling in him right versatile playmaker so he could he upgraded like everything else like a lip just a little bit and then maxed his playmaking that's probably what he did there you know what i mean and now we have the small forwards right and let's look at the small force we have like scoring wing we have scrapper so maybe he upgraded everything but like shooting um slashing wing so you know he's obviously maxed out his slashing inside scoring wing we have athletic score a two-way wing a wing defender so these are just some of like these archetypes that it could be giving you at a certain overall right so maybe um i'm like a 78 overall right and the only thing i upgraded as a small forward was inside scoring so maybe i'm just an elite inside score the only thing i've done is maxed out my inside scoring but then i'm at 99 overall and i've upgraded almost everything now i'm an all-around small forward right so it can i think it's going to be able to change as your overall goes up but using the my player builder you know what the outcome is going to be when you hit that max level so as you can see now we have the power forward and center screenshot so we have like a rebounding four um a rebounding specialist you know a rebounding scoring machine so maybe he upgraded his slashing and his rebounding um so let's let's compare this to 2k19 right so let's compare powers build right so he was a rebounding stretch so maybe at a low overall he was something like you know maybe he only upgraded his rebounding to start off and then he's a tenacious rebounder so let's say he was like a 70 overall and he only maxed out his rebounding and then um as his rebounding stretch was upgraded and it got you know a little more stuff you know he was an inside outside threat because you know he upgraded his three point his driving and his rebounding so he's kind of an all around and then maybe he's oh now he hit 99 overall now he's an all around star so this is something we could see maybe it doesn't just change dramatically like that but it could definitely we could see these archetypes in nba 2k20 so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video if you think you know some of these builds will be in 2k20 and you agree with me about the my player builder and just
just drop a like if you're excited for 2k20 man i'm hyped we are so close to demo launch we are so close to launch in general i'm so excited for 2k20 you already know we are up next man it's been your boy henry aka double hdf man and i'm out of here peace I ain't never had no friends, I was all alone She ain't never called my phone, she left me on my own They saying all girls are the same, cause they're my thumb She said, can you stay with me, now I gotta go Diamond dripping off my neck, it's wet I'm about to flex up on my ex